Welcome back. Now, Mandy Lidke, as part of the PYP Art Facilitator at uh, Vintage International School, joins us this evening to discuss the upcoming Art in Action, uh, Artists of All Ages Creating Change exhibition at the Goethe Institute Namibia. Opening on September 18th, 2024, this unique event pairs the imaginative works of students with those of professional artists, emphasizing that talent transcends age and experience. The exhibition not only showcases artistic expression, but also supports local youth through donations to Casa Youth Foundation, as well as a Back to School Namibia. Mandy now joins us this evening. Good evening yeah. and welcome, Mandy. Good evening. I'm so glad to be here. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here with us. Yeah. To start with, talk to us about you know what inspired this uh, collaboration, I would okay. say, between uh, Ventuk International School students as well as the professional artists for this Art in Action exhibition. Yeah. yeah. So I lived for many years in Uganda, in East Africa, and we had a similar exhibition there where we had uh, young artists and professional artists working together, and we were raising funds also for a charity. So when we moved here two years ago to Namibia, we thought that would be a great idea to do something like that. That's fantastic. Yeah. What age group are we talking about when we say these young artists? So our youngest artist is five years old. <laughs> then we have teenager and our oldest artist is around seven, uh, 57 years old. Mm -hmm. So it's and a wide range. And of course, I'm, I'm sure you've explained to the young ones what's going to be happening with this exhibition. So how do you think, you know, this exercise is going to enhance their learning experience? I think it will really raise their confidence yeah. and they feel like my art is not just for school. It's something uh, can be seen outside and appreciated by other people. Fantastic. Yeah. Talk to us about how you see uh, the role of art, Mandy, in fostering um, social change, particularly uh, for the youth involved in this yeah. exhibition. So art um, raises awareness, it mm -hmm. can change our perception, and it can also um, foster empathy in people. So with this um, exhibition, we want to actually blur the boundaries of age. Mm -hmm. We want to say mm -hmm. creativity is at any age, no matter if you're five years old or a hundred years old, anyone can be creative and mm -hmm. we can all come together as a community to celebrate this, this creativity. Yeah. Well, as I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. the proceeds uh, from this exhibition, yeah. of course, is going to um, a good cause. Yes. Uh, talk to us about that, who the beneficiaries are, why they were chosen and, you know, what you hope these uh, proceeds mm -hmm. will do for these organizations. Yeah. So there are two charities we have chosen and 40% of the sales will go to these charities. One of the charities is Casa Youth Foundation. They work with um, physical education, supporting children and special needs children. And then back to school in Namibia, which is quite well known, they support um, children in remote areas with school equipment, scholastic materials, um, uniforms, shoes, and all their work is 100% on a volunteer basis. Mm -hmm. If you want to get to know them more on the opening night, they will have a little booth and you can talk to them and they will explain probably much better than I can <laughs> do now. Yeah, but they're all worth causes to support. Fantastic. Let's talk a little bit on the logistics. I mentioned mm -hmm. the date that it will be happening, where it will be happening, okay. etc. How long the exhibition will be on and of course how the public can support most yeah. importantly. So we are very excited. Next Wednesday, the 18th of September, um, the opening will happening at six o'clock at the Goethe Institute and the exhibition will last for one week until mm -hmm. the 22nd. Mm -hmm. To, sorry, 26th of September. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we will also have a special art workshop on the 21st of September on the Saturday, mm -hmm. which is free for the public with an amazing Namibian artist called Lisette Kaberi. And she will lead that. Mm -hmm. So everyone is welcome to join in. And people can support by coming and buying the artwork. Mm -hmm, like buy mm -hmm. your work for your office, for your, for your bank, for your home. There's yeah. some really interesting art pieces there. Fantastic. Yeah. After this exhibition is done, how do you envision, you know, the future of art education at uh, WIS? Um, at Windhoek International School, um, we have already a very good art program for primary and secondary school. We would like to inspire other schools, Namibian schools, mm -hmm. to actually integrate art in their schools because we have seen some schools don't actually have an art program. So we want to be an inspiration and say art help students emotionally and academically, mm -hmm. like research has yeah, shown yeah. that. So we want to be an inspiration. 
Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here this evening and all the best to the exhibition. Thank you so much. It was lovely to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> well, there you have it. That was Mandy Litka speaking to us. We'll be back uh, right after the short break. Stay with us.